Welcome back, Finance Homefront viewers. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, Donald Trump's latest move into the cryptocurrency world and what it could mean if he returns to the White House. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more in-depth financial discussions, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest videos. Just a quick reminder, I'm here to share insights, not financial advice, so always do your own research when it comes to investments. Let's get started. In recent months, Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, has made headlines once again by stepping into the cryptocurrency business. His latest venture could create a significant wave of controversy, especially if he regains his seat in the Oval Office. With his bold declaration to turn the United States into the crypto capital of the planet, if elected again, Trump's business dealings may intertwine with national economic policy in ways that spark questions, particularly about conflicts of interest. Trump's entry into the world of cryptocurrency comes as he ramps up his campaign to reclaim the White House. His latest endeavor involves the creation of a new cryptocurrency platform, World Liberty Financial. Trump has taken to promoting this venture on the same social media platforms he uses to communicate with his political base. Interestingly, it's not just Trump who is involved. His two eldest sons, Donald Jr. and Eric, as well as his daughter-in-law, Lara Trump, have actively promoted the business on their personal accounts. Lara Trump, married to Eric, even serves as co-chair of the Republican National Committee, further blending the lines between business and politics in the Trump family. As we've seen in the past, Trump has a long history of merging his political persona with his personal business ventures. From the White House, he frequently promoted his hotels, golf courses, and other assets. More recently, he's been involved in selling sneakers, Bibles, and shares in his social media company, all while actively campaigning for another presidential term. World Liberty Financial, however, is a different kind of business, one that has the potential to rapidly increase in value, especially if Trump is able to influence legislation and regulatory frameworks surrounding cryptocurrency. Many political analysts, like Jordan Libowitz from Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, are sounding alarms. While advocating for cryptocurrency on its own may not be concerning, doing so while standing to gain financially from the policies one promotes can raise ethical questions. The success of World Liberty Financial could, in many ways, hinge on U.S. economic policy if Trump is elected. Given Trump's influence over the Republican Party and his ability to shape financial legislation, the potential for personal gain is clear. For those unfamiliar, cryptocurrency is a type of digital money that operates independently of traditional banking systems. It allows users to transfer assets globally without needing intermediaries like banks. These digital currencies are often traded on exchanges, which act as marketplaces for buying and selling them. Most exchanges charge fees for these transactions, providing a source of revenue for their operators. World Liberty Financial appears to be entering the crypto scene as a borrowing and lending service, according to information shared on crypto-focused websites like Coindesk. The platform bears similarities to other financial apps, such as Doe Finance, which has garnered attention for being recently hacked. Yet, many details about World Liberty Financial remain unclear, including the extent of Trump's involvement and ownership stakes. After Lara Trump's post on social media discussing our goal at World Liberty, her husband, Eric Trump, posted an odd message suggesting both Lara and his sister Tiffany had been hacked. This added an air of confusion to the venture's public rollout. It's also worth noting that Trump's relationship with cryptocurrency has shifted dramatically over the years. During his presidency, he expressed skepticism, even tweeting in 2019 that he was not a fan of cryptocurrency. At the time, he warned that unregulated digital assets could be used for illegal activities, including drug trafficking. However, fast forward to today, and Trump has completely reversed his stance. Not only is his campaign now accepting cryptocurrency donations, but Trump has also declared that he will establish a crypto army of supporters leading up to Election Day. Additionally, 
he attended a major Bitcoin conference in Nashville, where he promised to make the United States the global leader in cryptocurrency and create a strategic reserve for Bitcoin, a form of digital currency currently held by the U.S. government. If Trump secures another term in office, his influence over monetary policy could be significant. He's already floated ideas about pressuring the Federal Reserve to lower interest rates, a move that could further drive investments into high-risk assets like cryptocurrency. Moreover, Trump is an advocate of decentralized finance, or DeFi, which relies on public blockchain technology to disrupt the conventional finance world. DeFi allows individuals to interact directly with each other for loans, investments, and payments, bypassing traditional financial institutions like banks. Another controversial policy idea Trump has floated is his intention to subsidize Bitcoin mining in the U.S. Bitcoin mining is an energy-intensive process that involves solving complex mathematical problems to validate transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. By increasing government support for this activity, Trump aims to boost energy production, a move that aligns with his broader views on expanding the energy sector. Additionally, Trump has vowed to block the creation of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, in the United States. A CBDC would be a government-backed digital currency available for public use. While still in the exploratory phase, many cryptocurrency advocates oppose the idea of a centrally controlled digital currency, fearing it would increase government oversight and diminish the decentralized nature of existing cryptocurrencies. For Trump, embracing cryptocurrency could also be a strategic move to attract younger voters, particularly younger men who may feel alienated by traditional political messaging. Cryptocurrency appeals to many people who are skeptical of government control over financial markets, and it's no secret that many Trump supporters share concerns about the so-called deep state and government overreach. One of Trump's vocal supporters in the crypto space is Dustin Stockton, a pro-Trump activist turned cryptocurrency influencer. Stockton believes Trump's foray into cryptocurrency, as well as the launch of World Liberty Financial, is a positive development. He argues that the Trump family's growing interest in cryptocurrency is indicative of their willingness to engage with innovative technologies and challenge the current financial system. Stockton also criticizes the Biden administration's stance on cryptocurrency, particularly the actions of SEC Chair Gary Gensler, who has aggressively pursued crypto firms like Coinbase and Binance through a series of lawsuits. Stockton sees this as part of an overall anti-crypto sentiment from the current administration. While President Biden issued an executive order on digital assets in 2022, there hasn't been significant legislative movement on the issue. Many in the cryptocurrency community feel frustrated by the lack of clear rules governing digital assets. Stockton points out that the heavy-handed enforcement tactics used by the SEC only contribute to confusion and uncertainty in the marketplace. Without clearer guidelines from the government, it's difficult for businesses and investors to navigate the regulatory landscape. J.W. Veray, a law professor at George Mason University, has also weighed in on the issue. According to Veray, Trump's business activities don't necessarily violate any laws, even if he promotes policies that could benefit his companies. In Veret's view, owning assets or starting a business while in government doesn't automatically present a conflict of interest. In fact, Veret argues that it's beneficial for lawmakers to have firsthand experience in the industries they regulate. However, this perspective is likely to be met with opposition from those concerned about the ethical implications of Trump's dual roles as both a businessman and a politician. As Trump continues his journey into the world of cryptocurrency, questions about potential conflicts of interest will remain at the forefront of public discourse. His ability to shape national financial policy while also profiting from the very assets he's promoting could lead to a collision between his personal financial interests and the responsibilities of the highest office in the land. How this plays out, especially if Trump wins another term, is something the country, and indeed the world, will be watching closely. For now, the launch of World Liberty Financial 
marks just the latest chapter in Donald Trump's ongoing fusion of business and politics. Whether it will thrive or falter, and what role it will play in the broader cryptocurrency ecosystem remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, Trump's involvement in the crypto space has already added another layer of complexity to an already intricate and rapidly evolving industry. Thanks for sticking with me through today's deep dive into Donald Trump's latest crypto venture and the potential implications for the future of the financial world. I hope you found this discussion insightful and thought provoking. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Finance Homefront for more engaging financial topics. Your support helps the channel grow and I can't wait to bring you more analysis and updates. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.